Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations given that f of x plus 7 equals 14 plus x squared plus 9x and what is f of x? When you consider solving this, um, the first thing we are going to apply here is by factorizations. We have to factorize this right hand side because we need to apply the form manipulation just to make sure that every single thing here has a certain domain of x plus 7 before we can uh, replace it with x and to do that we have f of x plus 7 equals suppose i do the rearrangement first by starting with x squared just for it to be easy or you can also factorize directly as we have here but rearranging it is the best option at this point plus 9x plus 13 here we have this side as the sum and here is the product looking for two numbers that when we multiply it it gives us 13 and when we add it, it gives us 9. So coming with it, we are going to have 2 versus 7. Because if we say 2 plus 7, this gives us 9. And when we multiply 2 and 7 together, so this gives us 14. Therefore, 2 and 7 works uh, for this. Then we are going to change. Instead of 9, we replace it with 2 and 7. As we have x squared then plus plus 2x plus 7x plus 14 and by grouping this we are going to have x into bracket of x plus 2 I group and I factorize out x plus also we have 7 into bracket of x plus 2. I grouped and I also factorize out 7 that is common to them. Then after this, we have x plus 2 here. By taking only x plus 2, we are going to have x plus 7 as well. Here are the two factors of the quadratic we have. And uh, everything here is equivalent to f of x plus 7, which is x plus 2 and uh, x plus 7. Then we have to replace this x plus 7 with only x. But before we do that, this is affected because there is no x plus 7 here. We only have just one x plus 7. And what to do is... We, form, we are going to form uh, manipulate this. By manipulation, we have to take out x plus 7 from here. Well, it was x plus 2, which means something needs to subtract from this. If I subtract minus 5 from here, that is x plus 7 minus 5, that is x plus 2. Then here is x plus 7. After getting this, let's replace x plus 7 with x. As we have f of x equals x plus 7 here has changed to this and this has changed to x. But this is still having minus 5. Then multiply by x. By expanding further, we have f of x equals x into bracket of x minus 5. Or we can still have it as x squared minus 5x, which is quadratic binomial. There are two terms, so we call it quadratic binomial. So the first one was quadratic trinomial, and we later got quadratic binomial. Okay, let's consider this as the first method of solving this. And by now, we should have figured another way of solving this same problem. And we can just share it in the comment box. Let's see another beautiful way of solving these functional equations. And uh, if you are just coming to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, share, and uh, 
like the video let's get into the second method so for the second method since what we are given is a quadratic and if i assume a general quadratic functions let's say f of t equals a t squared plus b t plus c but since it is f of x that was given we are going to change this to f of x equals a x squared plus b x plus c let's change every single x to x plus 7 as we have this as a into bracket of x plus 7 squared plus b into bracket of x plus 7 then plus c and if you look at this we have that f of x plus 7 above is given as 14 plus x squared plus 9x and here we have a into bracket of x plus 7 all squared plus b into bracket of x plus 7 then plus c everything equals x squared plus 9x plus 14 so the next thing here is we are going to compare the coefficients but before we do that here we have a into bracket of x plus 7 squared so there will be a linear term here which we have to get before we can do the comparisons so that is why it is very needed for us to firstly expand this when we expand this we have a into bracket of x squared plus 14x plus 49 then plus this is bx plus 7b then plus c everything equals to x squared plus 9x plus 14 and taking this out we are going to have ax squared plus so here it becomes here is x here and we still have x so by comparing these together we are going to have x into bracket of 14a plus so we have 14a plus b and also the constant term here which is we have 49a plus 7b plus c everything equals x squared plus 9x plus 14 so therefore comparing this we have a here which equals 1 because of this coefficient and also for the second one having the coefficient of x we are going to have it as 14a plus b equals 9 and by replacing a with 1 we are going to have b equals 9 minus 14 and uh, b equals minus minus 5 so if b equals minus 5 then we can also get the value of c by subtracting the value of a the value of b into this and equate everything to be equals 14 so after we get that then we are going to substitute back into the function that we assumed above and we get the same result so this is how we solve this thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye